It began not with a bang, but with a question. At the dawn of the 20th century, physics was being reborn. Einstein revealed that energy and mass were two sides of the same coin, a simple, terrifying equation. E, E, M, C, 2. It was a theoretical spark, a hint at the immense power locked within the heart of the atom. But theory soon met the pressure of war. In 1938, as the shadow of Nazism fell across Europe, German scientists made a chilling discovery. Nuclear fission. They had split the uranium atom and in doing so, released a flash of energy. The world's top physicists immediately understood the implications. This wasn't just a laboratory curiosity. It was the key to a weapon of unimaginable power. The fear that Nazi Germany would build this weapon first prompted the most secret and ambitious project in history, the Manhattan Project. It was an innovation engine born from desperation, gathering the greatest scientific minds of a generation, Oppenheimer, Fermi, Teller, in a secret city in the desert of Los Alamos, New Mexico. Their mission was to turn theory into reality, to forge the world's first atomic bomb. For three years, they worked under a cloak of utmost secrecy, wrestling with the most complex physics and engineering challenges ever attempted. They were pushing against the very boundaries of human knowledge, driven by a race against time and a looming axis threat. The atmosphere was a potent mix of intellectual exhilaration and profound moral dread. They knew they were creating something that would change the world forever. The moment of truth came at 5.29 a.m. on July 16, 1945, at the Trinity test site. As the countdown reached zero, the darkness vanished, replaced by a light brighter than a thousand suns. A fireball of terrifying beauty rose into the sky, forging a mushroom cloud that would become an indelible icon of the new age. The heat fused the desert sand into green glass. As he witnessed the awesome, brutal force he had unleashed, J. Robert Oppenheimer recalled the words from the Hindu scripture, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The innovation was complete. The atomic age had begun. Just three weeks later, theory and testing became catastrophic reality. On August the 6th, 1945, the bomber Enola Gay released Little Boy over the city of Hiroshima. A blinding flash, a firestorm, and a blast wave obliterated everything in its path. The city was vaporized, shadow burned onto its own streets. Three days later, Fat Man fell on Nagasaki. The immediate human cost was over 100,000 lives, with tens of thousands more to succumb to radiation sickness in the agonizing days and years that followed. The bomb was no longer a scientific concept. It was an instrument of utter devastation, a human-made disaster of biblical proportions. In the aftermath, the world stood silent, holding its breath before a new and terrifying future. The war ended, but a new conflict began, the Cold War. An arms race saw the innovation spiral into even more terrifying forms, the hydrogen bomb, a thousand times more powerful than the one that fell on Hiroshima. The world now lived under the shadow of mutually assured destruction, a delicate balance of terror, where the price of global war was the end of civilization itself. The story of the nuclear bomb is the ultimate parable of human ingenuity. It is a journey from the purest quest for knowledge to the creation of a tool of ultimate destruction. It serves as a permanent, grim reminder of our capacity for both brilliance and annihilation. The innovation unlocked the fundamental forces of the universe, but the disaster that followed showed us that with such godlike power comes an immense and forever responsibility. The mushroom cloud fades from history, but its shadow remains, a warning etched into the very soul of humanity.